Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be rung better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorial we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We use only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely irrelevant for the current version of Joomla 5.1. The information from this video tutorial remained relevant for Joomla 4 as well. At least this is true on April 18, 2024. In this video tutorial we will talk about tags. Tags is a free Joomla component designed to create tags that can be applied to articles and other elements of Joomla and its third-party extensions. For example, on my Russian version of the site there are menus. For example, this one is menu item that create with the help of tag. It's look like regular category. For example, this is blog category and this is tags. Also, with the help of tags you can create a module with similar articles, like that. Using third-party module, for example this is tag transform, you can create menu modules like this, tag cloud like this, and a filter, like this. On my Russian version of the site I have the same module and I can filter some articles with tags. This is the same like you filter products on e-commerce sites. If you are using third-party article filter model you can also use tags in it. For example, uh, this is text, you can just click and filter some articles. Let's create a Joomla tag. For example, I have test category, there are three articles. Let's go to component, tags, and let's create a new tag. For example, Joomla 5.1. Just save it, go to Content, Articles, how to work with articles you can see in my previous video tutorial. Here we can see Article Test 1, 2 and 3, go to First, here in the tags you can find our new tag, select it. In each article you can have several tags, one or no tag. Also, you can add several tags or one tag to several articles at the time. Here it is. Also here it is. And of course you can filter articles by tag. If we update the page we can see the tag here. The style of the tag depends on your template. And now let's create menu items with tags. Go to menu. Here is my main menu blog. How to work with menus you can watch in my previous video tutorial. Just click new, select find tags, select this one, first type compact list of the tags items, select our tag here, just save it, update the page and we can see our list. Also, we can add tags not only to articles but, for example, to components. How to work with contacts you can watch in my previous video tutorial. Here we can see Joomla 5 tag, updated and we can see that we have three articles here and one contact here. 
Let's create new menu item. List all tags. Save it. Update the page and we can see all our tags. We can select parent tag and we can see just one child tag for this parent tag. Now let's create the last menu item type for tags. It will call tagged items. We can select our Joomla 5.1 update the page and we can see this page it looked like this but not so compact let's go to our first test article and let's add some modules here how to work with modules you can watch in my previous video tutorial for example, these similar items, I will disable them. And now let's add two modules. The first one will be tags popular, position bottom B. I will leave it like this, save it, update, and we can see popular tags. We can change time period order, direction, we can dis display number of items, we can change maximum tags, for example just two, and we can see the changes. Now let's create new module, tags similar, bottom B, And we can see that there are our articles with tag Joomla 5.1. That's how I, cre I create on my site the model like this, similar articles. So this is our similar articles. Now let's see some tag settings. Go to components, tags, open our tag. We can add some description. How to work with this editor you can watch in previous video tutorial. I will just add description. I can add two images, teaser image and full image. Let's for example select teaser image and full image. If we update our page we won't see any changes. Why? Because we need to change component options. Save and close and go to component options. Here you can see some hint about to which menu item this option are related to. Also, here in menu you can see same options, but for this menu item if you change this option for this menu item, they will override settings in the global component options. But I won't change them here, I will change them here. For example, let's enable tag name, tag image and tag description. Update the page and we can see we have description here, Joomla 5, we have title of the tag, image and description. I'll disable the image. We can change order. And we can see some changes. Also, let's enable item image and item description. For example, like this, update it. We can see no changes here. But we can see changes here. We can see description, but we won't see any image here. Why? Because we need to e add image here in the article. Uh, 
update the page and now we can see image here. On this top this settings control which item gets selected in the tag item list layout. The interesting option is minimum search line. Here we have 3, 2 and 1 option. Go to article. For example, here we can see 3. Now just let's type love. As you can see I type first letter, second letter and then I type third letter. After this I can see tags here. But if I select for example one, update the page, if I type the first letter I can see tags. So just for your information. The next tab is list all tags. It, this menu item depends on this option. Let's select for example show images, description and hints. Just save it, update and we can see some changes. Here we can disable for example filter and field, select field, Pagination we have no pagination because we have not a lot of text here but now if I update the page these items will disappear. And now they appear again. This option and this option are very specific and they are not so interesting. With option on this top we already work in my previous video tutorial. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In the next video we will work with Joomla fields component. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.